Oh, hello. So what we got going on? What's up, y'all? Welcome back. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on this little one. But today, he got a new harness in the mail, so we're gonna unbox that, get them all sized, and uh, hopefully get him to go on a walk because his new favorite thing is he'll walk like 10 feet and then he just lays down. Okay, so then you know, you get him to stand up and keep going. He walks about another 10 feet and he'll just pull in the other direction to go home or he'll lay down and it's like, okay, we're not home. <laughs> and this little stinker will just, just do that the entire time. I don't want to pull him by the neck, so we got him a harness and we're going to see how this goes. Oh, you little menace. Okay. Take a string. Oh, what do I have? What do I have? Hey, come here. Wrangler, are you scared? Okay. All right, this looks this looks pretty legit. Look at that. Got some nice buckles, a front no front pull, back pull, and a handle. Okay, y'all got this on Amazon. Fifteen dollars. Pretty impressed. Um, you know, I didn't want to spend like 40 on something he's going to outgrow in two weeks, maybe. Surely he won't grow that fast. Okay, Wrangler, come here. Come here. Hello. Let's try this on. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, hey. I hope it fits. I know. I know. All right, one. This is going in front of the pole or behind the pole? Her leg. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> there we go. It's looking good. See, we need to tighten it a little bit. What do you think, Wrangler? Are you sad? Yeah, all he's adorable. Hey, come here. Do you like it? Come here. Okay, I guess I'll come to you. A little diva. So are you trying to tighten it or are you trying to loosen it? Tighten it. Which is good. He's got room to grow. Yeah, seriously. Okay, let's... Let's tighten the other side just a little bit. Here, flip over. Flip over. Yep, lay on down. There you go. I know, I know. I know your patience is running thin. I'm aware. Oh, hey. All right. Anyone who has a puppy understands the struggle of sizing these things and getting them to hold still to do it. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so where do we put the, okay, so where do we put or clip on, I guess that's a better way to phrase it, where do we clip on the leash? Do you clip it on the top, on so his you, back, so or his chest? So you have one here yeah. for like normal walking, but if you're doing leash training to try to get them not to pull, or you like don't want to pull on their neck, you put it here, because when they start pulling, it just like pulls, like turns their entire body, so they stop doing it, okay. ideally. We'll see. So, you want to go test it out? Yes. Let's go on a walk. Let's go. Are you hiding? No? Okay. I had to think about that one, huh? Okay. You ready? Ready to go outside? Oh, someday you're going to learn the stairs. He's still scared. No, no, no. 
Yeah, if he's got a lot of room, I imagine it's probably going to move around a little bit on him. He <laughs> doesn't like it. <laughs> he looks very uncomfortable. Come on. I don't imagine he's uncomfortable. I imagine he's just not used to having something surrounding himself. Yeah. Go potty. Good boy. Ooh, what a good boy. There's going to be an adjustment period. I, I, I'm seeing, I, I feel like I'm starting to see how it works as far as he can't run out in front of you because if he tries to run out in front of you, it, like, pulls, it pulls the whole body back. Yeah, that's the point of like going the front, but it also doesn't pull on the neck where you think you're going to injure him. Right. Because he just can't make that, he wants to make that movement but can't. <laughs> so he sits. No, oh, you're such a good boy. Find a hole. All right, let's go. Come on, Wrangler. It's like a whole new dog. Yeah, I would say he's significantly better. Oh, yeah. On this than he is with the, uh, the standard collar. pulled but you're cute right so I think what's happening is with the harness and hooking up to the front where the chest is I think when he goes to pull he loses traction with one paw because it pulls him up off the ground and so then he won't he just won't pull as much whereas with the collar and I guess even hooking on to the back if we're hooking on that back latch you can still have all four points of contact and pull on it. I think that's what's happening. I agree. Nonetheless, he's way better on this than he is with a, with a collar. Oh, this is night and day. Yeah. yeah, taking him on a walk with a collar is not an enjoyable experience. Almost home. We're almost there. 20 feet. Not far. You don't have far to go. Let's go. I'll take off running. This is what we deal with. I don't know what he's trying to tell me. Hey, Wrangler. Come here. Oh, we were so close to run. Let's go, Wrangler. Dog and boxes. That's all he cares about. This doesn't come off his head easily. Okay, back from the walk. So, here's the consensus. The harness 
did amazing as far as, you know, keeping him in line, getting him to not pull, all of that. We kind of ran into a little bit of a hiccup, which y'all saw, we couldn't get the harness off of him. You know, it unclips on the body, but it doesn't unclip on the neck, which I had tightened because it was too big. Then I ended up having to loosen it to get it over his head, which isn't the end of the world, but it's kind of a pain to be totally honest. Um, so I don't know, it was a $15 harness, not that big of a deal. He's gonna outgrow it suit anyway, but that is our experience and this is what he's doing. Hang on, Seth. Good boy, you get a piece of paper. Oh man. You'd think after a walk he'd just, you know, pass out on the floor, but nope. Okay, so anyway, y'all, that is it for the walk. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next cute thing he does. We'll see you next time.